Hello, my name is Professor Kevin Rooney. As an intensive care clinician, I see life and I see death on a daily basis. That is why I'm passionate about identifying sick patients early and treating sepsis. Sepsis is an intolerable and indiscriminate killer of people of any age, background and social status. It kills 37,000 people a year in the United Kingdom. That is more deaths than lung cancer or bowel, breast and prostatic cancer combined. It is also the number one cause of maternal death in the United Kingdom. So what is sepsis? Sepsis is a life-threatening condition that arises when the body's response to infection injures its own tissues and organs. It may lead to shock, multi-organ failure and death, especially if not recognised early and treated promptly. It is a disease continuum. With sepsis, there is a 15% mortality. With severe sepsis, 30%. And finally, a 50% mortality with septic shock. Prompt recognition, assessment and timely treatment are key to beating this ruthless disease. Rapid initiation of simple, timely interventions, including antibiotics and intravenous fluids, can reduce the risk of death by half. This app, a collaboration between staff from NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde and the NHS Education for Scotland is designed to make it easy to do the right thing for our patients and ensure that the right patient receives the right treatment at the right time. The app is part of our Knowledge into Action strategy and provides a national early warning scoring system or news calculator, a sepsis screening tool an outline of the sepsis 6 care bundle, and finally, an algorithm to help identify organ failure with guidance on when to escalate care for that individual patient. As a mobile app, it can be safely used at the point of care with the potential to positively influence clinical decision making. Prompt recognition and treatment within the hour significantly improves the outcome from sepsis and the news calculator plays a vital role towards this. News is a scoring system that is used to alert clinicians to signs of deteriorating health in adults. It observes six physiological parameters, including respiratory rate, oxygen saturation, temperature, heart rate, blood pressure, and conscious level. A score is then allocated to each parameter, with the allocated score reflecting how extreme it varies from the norm. All the observation scores are then aggregated, with the final score being the news score. As the news increases, the risk of death increases, and this is a very useful tool to highlight these patients to the healthcare professional. If the news is elevated, the app prompts the clinician to screen for sepsis as a possible cause of this deterioration. Known information is pre-populated into the screening tool, facilitating this process. If sepsis is a possibility, the clinician is now taken to the Sepsis 6 care bundle, where they are prompted to deliver evidence-based treatment in a timely manner with a rationale for each element of the bundle. Finally, the app helps the clinician to screen for organ dysfunction, helping them to determine where the patient should be cared for and what next steps should be done. Every three to four seconds, someone dies of sepsis. Our aim in NHS Scotland is to change that. I believe that this app enables frontline staff to follow evidence-based practice and deliver care that is not only safe, 
but effective and person-centred to the people of Scotland and beyond.